one of the things that I had to talk to you about was getting a semi hard or like, I don't know why, but I recently heard someone call it an El Dente dick, like not quite <laughs> fully good. So, That's only if you're Italian. Yeah, yeah, only if you're Italian. Um, but uh, but I was wondering about like what what someone could do if that was an experience that they would continue to have. Yeah, I mean it's it's in some ways a little bit dangerous to have intercourse with a, an al dente dick or a penis that's semi hard. Uh, and you know, if you look at the data on Peyronie's disease, um, diabetics are three times as likely as non diabetics to get Peyronie's disease. And the reason for that is they're they don't have as good enough blood flow in the penis. And so their red, erections aren't as rigid. And so they're more likely to have uh, a fracture or a partial fracture or bending of the penis during intercourse, which then can lead to scar tissue, with that, which then can lead to, um, you know, Peyronie's disease. That was actually something, you know, just being really transparent, like this, I'll, this part of human sexuality is something that I'm still deeply learning about. And so when I came across Peyronie's disease, I didn't know that that was actually a disease. I thought it was just some men have curved penises and that's just the way that they were born. But this sounds like something that, and maybe you can explain it if people, other people are listening, didn't necessarily know what this was. Yeah. I mean, some people have kind of a gently curved penis, but this is a pathologically curved penis. And the thing is 80% of men that have Peyronie's disease can't point to a particular date or time when they felt like it started or, or a reason it started. Now there's some people that have what's called Dupuytren's contractures, which are like those little trigger finger things. And that's a problem with collagen. And so those people are uh, much more likely to get Peyronie's disease, but 80% of the time people don't even realize why they got it. And they woke up one morning with an erection and it, and it looked like it's curving. And it typically, most of them curve up although they can curve to the left, they can curve right, they can curve down. And once it gets past about a 30% curvature, it makes intercourse really difficult yeah, uh, and dangerous and painful, not only for the, the, the patient, but then also their partners. And, uh, and so there are a couple of things you can do. There's really no oral medication uh, that you can use on it, but there is a medication called Zyaflex, which is an injection into the plaque that can improve the, the curvature by about 30 degrees. Okay. Right? And and so just to understand this, is it basically like there's some sort of something physical happens that causes damage to the penis? And then as a result, is it scar tissue or what is? Yeah. So it's basically scar to tissue. So okay. the, you know, like I said earlier, the penis is made of collagen and elastin. And elastin mm -hmm. is stretchy, right? So when you get an erection, your penis is able to stretch from like, three inches to six inches. Let me just make up a number, mm -hmm. right? But if you have scar tissue on the top of the penis, now the top of the penis is only able to stretch to five inches, but the bottom of the penis is able to stretch to six inches. And because of that, you'll get an upward curvature of the penis to compensate for the difference in, in size of the, you know, the sides, the top and the bottom. 